I was in fifth grade, I actually had braces for the first time. And it turns out I actually had them at too young of an age because I wasn't like done growing. Once I reached high school, I noticed that my jaws and my bite started to shift. I actually consulted with three or four surgeons in my ninth grade year and none of them were confident enough to do my surgery. Part of it was they didn't have the experience and were kind of worried to mess up my face. They also didn't think that I was done growing. I knew that I would need surgery eventually once I was finished growing, but it was kind of that time period where I had to wait until I was at the right age. The type of problems that I had that I was trying to solve with surgery, I had killer migraines. Like I would wake up in the mornings with huge migraines and I didn't know if having surgery would fix that. My dentist at the time had told me the migraines could be from me clenching my jaw from my bite being unaligned and having that constant pressure and tension in my joints and my muscles and so I was hoping that with surgery that those migraines would go away. That was kind of a shot in the dark and it turns out it did. They are gone, completely gone. I also was looking to fix my confidence issues. Beauty isn't everything, but that's something that I wanted for myself and I wanted to be able to go out in public and smile and feel like I could have conversations with new people and not feel self-conscious. I was turned down many times and they told me to be patient, see if I grow into my bite. And in 2017, I decided I was ready for change and I was like, I'm 21, I'm finished growing, let's do it. Asked my dentist, where do I start? And he said that there was a new orthodontist in town. His name was Dr. Lewis. And he was like, just go sit and talk with him, consult with him, he's worked on cases with some surgeons in the area and um, I think that he'd be a great fit for you. I went and consulted with Dr. Lewis and he had actually just done a case with Dr. Howell on someone that I actually went to high school with. It was kind of that connection that made me feel comfortable in going and consulting with Dr. Howell. That's where my journey began. I met with Dr. Howell and I was sold. First conversation, I was sold. When I first came to Carolina Center for Oral and Facial Surgery, it was like that feeling that you get when you come in somewhere and it's like warmth and comfort and almost like home. Like everyone is so nice and so welcoming and supportive and they make you feel like they have you. Then when I met with Dr. Howell, <laughs> he's just so confident in all of his patients and in his own ability to take on these cases and these surgeries. I never, even from our first conversation, had any kind of doubt in my mind that he was the one to do it. The only obstacle, which sounds dramatic, that almost stopped me from going through this whole process was braces. I was hoping that there was some kind of way to do this surgery without having braces or to have braces on the back of my teeth or clear braces or something that was not noticeable. It just tore me up to have braces as an adult in college, finishing nursing school. Then I began to understand the importance of them and how intricate they are to the whole process. Then they didn't hold me back anymore. What made me happiest about choosing Dr. Howell is that he's a perfectionist. I never once felt like I had to doubt him. He takes every little single detail into consideration when going through the process of learning your face and learning what you want for yourself out of this surgery. And so I knew that I could count on him 100%. He listens, he listened to me, he listened to all of my concerns. My life has improved in that I have no headaches, none. Like I wake up and they're not there. It was kind of weird at first because I was like expecting the migraines and you know, they usually go away by midday, but I was waiting for that like tension headache that I was getting from my bite and they're gone. I feel so confident in myself and I feel like I can walk down the street or walk through a store and just smile and I never did that before. The only thing that surprised me throughout this whole process is the support that I received. 
from people going through the same thing, others in my community that were just watching, family, friends. When you start the process, it kind of feels like you're alone with your surgeon and his team and that's it because you don't really hear about others locally having this kind of procedure done. I was so shocked at how many people were willing to pray for me and support me and love on me throughout the whole process. I mean, it was beautiful. I would tell someone who is considering using Carolina Centers for oral and facial surgery to just do it. Put that fear and the stress and all the obstacles that you may be facing to the side and just make an appointment, just come in for one conversation and consult with Dr. Howell or one of the other doctors that are within this facility. It will be life changing. I don't think that there's anything that you could have done differently to improve my experience. Dr. Howell is very good at teaching you every little thing about pre-procedure, during the surgery, post-procedure, and recovery. I mean, he almost like ever prepares you for what you're going to go through. So I don't think there's anything that could have been improved. The scariest part, which is my fault, is because I googled and you see horror stories on the internet of any from any kind of medical issue or surgery. I mean, it's always the worst of the worst. When I googled double jaw surgery, the swelling looks crazy. While it is crazy, it's your body's way of healing and it's natural and almost beautiful that your body can take care of you so well. But that was the scariest part. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to breathe because I'm gonna be so swollen. And while I was swollen, it's not near as bad as you think it's gonna be. I would like to say that if you're considering jaw surgery or any other procedure that has to do with facial or oral surgery, I would definitely recommend Carolina Centers for Oral and Facial Surgery. All it takes is one conversation. It seems really scary and fearful and you can give a million reasons why you shouldn't do it, but all it takes is one conversation and you'll be sold. I did my research and there's nowhere better to go than Carolina Center for Oral and Facial Surgery.